We're back, people, and today we're bringing down film on BYU wide receiver Puka Nakua, who I'm a big fan of his game as a day three guy, and just watching him win at the catch point is by far his best strength. He's very strong in that area. He's a vertical plane wide receiver, ex excels on that vertical plane, actually, as a deep downfield threat. His tracking ability, his ability to adjust at the catch point is super impressive. He sees the ball super well. He has a great feel for how to beat people downfield vertically, stack over the top, work his body positioning, and make these tough difficult contested catches he does it consistently on this BYU offense on this vertical plane adjusting to back shoulders fades great down in the red zone his release package his route running could use some refinement he is comfortable running his routes on a vertical plane mixing up the pace and things like that his release he could add some more uh, tools to his arsenal in his release package but he has a nice split release understands how to work that and uh, after the catch, he's pretty solid in that area. He's a solid blocker as well. Um, get, works out in space. He's very physical. But he's not like some amazing athlete who's just going to burn by you with speed. He's got like a 4-5 uh, flat 40, which is solid. Nothing terrible. But that ability uh, down the field and just finishing, getting his feet in bounds, his body control and field awareness is such a high level. And then making those like over the shoulder catches is very very impressive from puka nakua puka nakua about 6'1 a little bit over 200 pounds so pretty decent size nothing he's not too small not too big but he's just really really good at the catch point like you'll see how dominant he is right there like this is a good example of showing his biggest strengths you know he at least gives something in his route it's nothing too crazy with his nuance here gives a slight outside stem avoid you know the reroute from the underneath defender and then uh leverage this back to the inside get this db to open his hips and then now work into his blind spot get back over the top and this ball is thrown really well actually uh, i believe it's jaron hall but he goes up and gets it attacks it you can see the body control and then now his awareness to get two feet in bounds he just deadens his feet he's amazing in this area this is his biggest strength tracking to body control to making the tough difficult catch and getting the feet in bounds right there that's just like how you would describe puka nakua on the screen we got nakua working another vertical route he loves working you know the nines the eight routes down the field he can just blow by you sometimes he'll give you a little something but a lot of times he just tries to win with pure speed off the line and then once he gets his track he gets the inside track right here he goes up he leans into the corner gets a feel for where he is and then goes up attacks the ball does allow it into the chest a little bit but he just knows his positioning really well plays the ball like he's a basketball player boxing guys out and then you know going and getting it he sees he tracks it obviously very well making these adjustments at the catch point deep down the field another similar play at the bottom of the screen this time just showing off his acceleration to speed combo for sure <laughs> it's very similar against the exact same team but at the bottom of the screen he gets more of a you know this guy bailing zone look and just completely burst past him i love that he sort of sets this up pretty well here too eating up the cushion and this is a very fast corner to uh for baylor and he kind of blows by him and then now the ball's getting slightly underthrown, so he leans back into the db get a feel for where he is and then just box him out use his positioning at the catch point to finish these catches down the field and you know he's not going to go very high in the draft so i think you know as a day three guy like having this big of a strength to your arsenal as a downfield threat i think is going to be very attractive for a lot of teams uh, looking for receivers on day three i think you know he can definitely be like an ideal z type of receiver nakua at the top of the screen get to watch him work on a back shoulder uh set this up he like he does a good job of you know uh fighting with his hands as well right here uh, he's expecting to get the you know stab to the outside and he doesn't get it but he shows that he's willing to you know throw those hands fight with it get his positioning and now like the db's in a very good spot he's uh but just knows based on his positioning and the safety being over the top that he's probably gonna get the back shoulder so he adjusts to it sees it very well and then you know gets those two feet inbounds great field situational awareness again just understands him and his qb are always on the same page as well and you can see that he's you know at least trying with his release package off the line here giving you know this slight hesitation to the inside working some foot fire footwork right here stab could work uh, a little bit with his stabs right there you know stepping harder outside the frame showing a little more violence being a little more quick twitched but those are things that you know he can work on for sure but he has this clear strength to finish at the catch point making those adjustments and then getting uh finishing with the footwork getting every foot in bounds another example of nakua down in the red zone he's got a very good comfortability working on these fades this time it's not as smooth 
on the back shoulder. He's much closer to the red zone. DB plays this very well, gets perfect positioning. And just love that he shows off, you know, working through contact here. You got to be able to work through contact, especially down in the red zone. He works through the contact, gives like that subtle push off at the end. Uh, uses that left hand to box this guy out, tries to catch it with one hand, doesn't get it initially, and then comes to it under control while he still has a foot in bounds. And you know, at the co college level, that's a catch uh, for a touchdown. Very, very high level play. He's just so good at finishing at the catch point. Great body control as well. And then has that awareness again to finish with the feet in bounds. This time at the top of the screen, working versus some press actually. Uh, and on the vertical plane. So we've seen him beat Baylor deep down the field multiple times. This time he gets press look. And he's pretty comfortable beating press. I know I've like said his release package isn't too vast. But he does love to work his little split release here. He sees this DB, you know, uh, being square, being patient. He sees that he's getting this press look. He's not bailing. So he just gives a slight foot fire at the line of scrimmage. And then instantly speed releases to the inside. He loves to do that. And now he gets over the top, stacks him. Um, ball slightly underthrown and he adjusts to it makes a catch and shows off some play strength almost carrying him as well uh, after the catch I'll show some ability he has some ability after the catch if he wasn't working vertically for BYU it's basically if they got single high safety they threw it to him vertically and then if he wasn't it was either it was in motion being thrown screens or on jet sweeps that was basically his entire role in BYU offense so he does need to develop his route tree a little bit more but um, it's definitely something his yards after catch ability I think overall is pretty solid Another play on the vertical plane, but this time he gets to break it off, you know, working. You got to be able to do this. If you're going to be a vertical threat uh, deep down the field, you got to be able to, you know, snap off these routes, work these curls, especially once DBs are really playing those verticals. And then he snaps this off pretty well, like probably could have been a little more efficient with his footwork here, maybe a wasted movement, but he gets out of it pretty nicely, throws this DB by doesn't get the ball thrown his way and then he instantly just gets his eyes back downfield turns into a blocker shows off some physicality strength trying to move his guy uh the receiver just kind of runs right into it where the db was but you can just see the physicality and the like technique as a blocker to squaring the guy up extending those arms those hips uh good base here as well and then it turns it into driving his feet so impressive overall play from nakua got nakua at the top of the screen another you know situation where he's going to you know show off some better route running this is a very difficult route to run he ends up not getting the feet inbounds like one of the only times so it's not a catch but you can see he sees the db bail showing press pre-snap once he sees him bail he's trying to you know give a quick foot fire but he sees him bail so he just instantly gets into his route and then sells with his body and his eyes his whole body language is selling that he's going to work vertically here to the inside uh, maybe break this off so this DB gets slightly out of position with his outside leverage and then breaks it back to the outside this is a difficult route to run running this corner route with this very little room is not easy so that's why they kind of run out of space the ball has to be thrown really early and then he tries to you know he catches it at the catch point and he's probably going to get his two feet in bounds but the DB pushes him out of bounds as he's uh as he's trying to finish with the feet in bounds so he doesn't end up getting it but you can see that he's at least trying to he's definitely aware of where he is on the field ball just kind of like floats him out and then he tries to get the feed inbounds he might get one foot inbounds actually like like right there you see that left foot get down like his awareness is insane like obviously not a catch at the nfl level because he's not able to get two but still absolutely insane based on where the db is hitting him and i think you know if this db is not hitting him and pushing him out of bounds he's gonna get that second foot inbounds because he's just got that high instincts when he's at this part of the field nakua loves working the fade setting this up nothing too crazy here like Sometimes he gets, I feel like he can be not lazy, but he can be a little nonchalant with his releases. His route running could probably give you a little bit more, but he just likes to get into his routes instantly. I don't know if he's even expecting this ball to come, but once he sees it, he leans into it, creates that late separation, shows late hands as well. This is very important. This is why he's so good at the catch point. He shows the late hands. He's not going up to just catch right now, and now he shows the hands catches it over the shoulder very difficult catch to make from the positioning that he's in his downfield tracking is just absolutely beautiful here we got him in motion now you get to see him working you know as a guy after the catch this is a very impressive play setting up his blocks just seeing things well he's not your typical you know elusive side to side type of play or yeah moving side to side making guys miss out in space uh with you know the lateral agility things like that but he's more of like a slasher type of runner he makes like one cut and gets up field and if he has this type of like angle where he has full his full momentum, full speed acceleration, and a guy's trying to, you know, 
uh, take an angle on him, he will make one cut and then make them miss. That's basically where most of his yards after catch will come from. Not, you know, the great side to side type ability like I was talking about earlier. That's just not his game. That's why he's more of a vertical threat and really just excels in a vertical plane because I think he can be a little stiff at times when trying to change direction and just an impressive play overall. Really just impressed with his film uh, as a whole at this point. Like, just I love players that are really good at the catch point like this. Finishing with your feet and bounds, great situational awareness, the body control, understanding where you are in the field, understanding coverages, and then just winning. Like, he has this clear niche as a wide receiver. Like, you know exactly what you're going to get from him. Strengths, weaknesses. And if he can develop those weaknesses, he can be, I think, a solid receiver at the next level. But just understanding how he fits into a team's offense, I think, is very important. And he's just, you know, he's kind of like a black and white type of prospect. It's very simple to see exactly what type of player he is there's not a lot of gray area to his game and uh i'm a big fan of you know him as a day three prospect you know any higher than that probably you know a little too rich for me but you get him on day three and i i like that of what he brings to the team so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe peace